Warning. If you are under the age of 13, you are not permitted to watch this channel, set by the new standards of the FTC. Although some of the content on this channel could feature cartoons or animation, it is for adults only. Thank you, and have a wonderful f***ing day. I have to say this is a, I'm going to have to say this is a precursor, but I don't think many of you are going to make it through to the end of this video, because I'm having a really hard time just making this video. It takes a lot for me to really get creeped out, and I'm going to be honest with you all, I think this is the last time I do anything with alien activity. What if I told you, you could watch amazing events that unfolded since the dawn of man? First, let me be very clear before embarking upon this video. I am not here to persuade anybody's religious beliefs. This video has nothing to do with that, so please enjoy this video for what it is. Something I can't explain. The internet was a different place back in the 90s. Some called it the Wild West, as far as information and content. Message boards were much different, and you didn't have the corporate giants that you have today, like Google, Facebook, Twitter. It was sort of a free-for-all where you would stumble upon the strangest stuff imaginable. Years ago, when I was a teen, I remember going on this message board about alien activity. And one of the things that caught my eye was a person saying that they had seen footage of the crucifixion. That's right, footage of the crucifixion. I pointed it off as just sort of some nut, just, you know, making things up. But years later, this started to really grate on me. And, well, let's just say I decided to look back on that. Now, of course, all the links are dead. Everything's gone, almost like purposely wiped out, except for one site I was able to stumble on, which led me down the rabbit hole much deeper than I wanted to go. And this started events that I'm not very c comfortable about, but we'll get into that soon. Now the strange thing about this is, this message board is from 2005, and these people are saying the same thing. I remember back in the 90s seeing this information. And well, just take a look for yourself before we get even deeper here. Keep in mind, all this stuff predates these ancient alien nut jobs that are currently on TV today. I found an older thread discussing this Jesus crucifixion videotape apparently in possession by the Majestic 12 group within a US government. So this has been known for some time Just then. incredible. I didn't know this. Dead Link. The aliens showed a hologram, which they claim was the actual crucifixion of Christ. The government filmed the hologram. This also makes a lot of sense. They can retrieve holographic memories from the human subconscious and monitor them, create halo effects or post-hypnotic dreamlike sequences that seem real but are not, or potentially create their own holographic virtual reality sequences via combined technology and collective consciousness and show the recording of this to the e U.S. E government officials. is the name or designation given to the live alien captured at the 1949 Roswell crash he died in captivity. The officer also relates the fact that the Ebbs claim to have created Christ. The Ebbs have a type of recording device that has recorded all of Earth's history and can display it in the form of a hologram. This hologram can be filmed, but because of the way holograms work, it does not come out very clear on movie film or videotape. The crucifixion of Christ on the Mount of Olives has allegedly been put on film to show the public. 
the Ebbs claim to have created Christ, which in view of the grand deception could be an effort to disrupt traditional values for undetermined reasons. A while back I was reading this very long article on the history of UFOs. I'll try to find the link later. No you won't because it's dead. Anyway, I read about the Majestic 12, which was a secret government organization. Anyway, there was talk about aliens having contact with people and showing the government what really happened to Jesus and the government recorded a holographic video that the aliens took of Jesus' crucifixion. I don't really know, but the video might be on the web. The Yellow Book is said to be a sort of holographic compact disc which can project images of the information it contains. It is alleged to contain references to biblical events even including a holographic depiction of the crucifixion of Christ and history of their visitations to earth for the past 12,000 plus years. At some point during the second year of captivity, he began to open up and the information derived from the ebb was startling to say the least. This compilation of his revelations became the foundation of what would later be called Yellow Book. They may have holographic images of the crucifixion of Christ and other biblical events. The visitors have supposedly been asking the questions, why them, humans, and not us to have a Christ Savior? This painting from the 16th century depicts strange things in the sky during Christ's crucifixion. Now the strange thing about this painting is angels were not depicted in that manner back then this is something totally different. In fact, the Ebbs claim to have created Christ. The Ebbs have some sort of recording device that has recorded all of the Earth's history and can display in the form of a hologram. This hologram can be filmed, but because of the way holograms work, it does not come out clearly. The crucifixion of Christ on Mount of Olives has allegedly been put on film to show the public. Hmm. So we get all the way to the bottom and we see a name, John Winston and an email. Well, I took liberties to email this John Winston, and here we go. Dear John, I know, not the best way to start a letter, or in this case, an email. I'm writing you with the great respect and admiration for you. I'm currently working on a topic on my channel, one you are greatly familiar with. I'm curious about the crucifixion footage that was apparently created by the Ebbs. Not necessarily the holographic version, but the VHS copy or Betamax copy. Is this footage available anywhere? If it's for the public's eyes to see, then I will pursue this. If otherwise, I won't. Thank you for your time, John. And then, this came up. Mm hmm, another dead end. But now, this is where things get really strange. Then, then the phone calls started to happen. Please enter your password, then press pound. You have seven saved voice messages. To listen to your messages, press one. First saved voice message. So as you can see, things have been getting stranger and stranger around the house here. My efforts to find this video began to feel futile. 
and I decided to go a different route, considering Google just was not the right answer. After message board, after message board, after message board of searching and searching and searching, I had to look upon the dark web to try to find this video. I took the proper precautions, obviously. And down a dark alley I went, and then I found it. Please keep in mind, I don't know how legitimate this is, and this could be nothing at all. But either way, stick around to the end of this video, and hopefully I'll reveal more to this. Okay, let's look at fact and fiction here. We're going to break down everything in this video really fast. So, yes, fact. When I was a teen, there was a message board, and this information was on there about Ebbs and recording the crucifixion. If that's true or not, I can't say, but those message boards and that topic absolutely did exist. That phone call recording fact or fiction well believe it or not that is fact but it wasn't my phone call although I have had phone calls like that in the past and to be perfectly honest with you much worse more guttural more creepy I just never recorded them but if you YouTube and I'll put the links in the description you will found you will find multiple people have had in fact had this issue with their phones the noises I heard outside my house. Fact or fiction? Again, believe it or not, fact. These noises you're hearing, and I'll include the link again in the description, are unnameable noises that came from the woods. Now, I've heard very similar noises coming outside of my window. This happens to be, believe it or not, fox. Fox will make a screaming-like noise in the distance. It's very alarming and will wake you up in the middle of the night. Quite horrifying, actually. Now let's get to what you've all been waiting for. That video footage you saw of the crucifixion at the end of the video. Fact or fiction? <laughs> well, this might blow your minds a little bit, but believe it or not, fact, however, this is from a movie that was about a time traveler who actually recorded Christ's I believe it's called The Relic from 2,000 years ago. And at the same time, this is obviously fiction. The real footage, if there is any, has never been found. It was never made public. So things like this raise a question. Are they real or not? We tend to wonder about these things, and we say, it's 2019, and we've been wondering this since the 1950s, if not earlier. And this information just has never seen the light of day. Now, it may be true that the United States government has finally come out and said yes, there are unidentified flying objects and we don't know where they come from. And it has taken this long for the United States government to admit that. So what else? Maybe there is some truth to all this. Maybe there is a video floating around out there. I don't know. I can't say. But sometimes reality could be far more stranger than fiction. Thanks everyone. I appreciate you watching the video and if you know anybody that's interested in this stuff please show them this video. I have a Patreon if you're interested and it would help out a lot. Thanks again and I'll see you all real soon.